What's up everybody, it's your boy C. Sims and this is That Comic Show. Phase four has been announced. The next two years, we know what movies are coming out, we know what shows are coming out for Marvel. Now, what can we expect in phase four? A lot of us had our hopes into the fact that we will get a Fantastic Four in phase four. Now, don't count that out. I believe we're still gonna get that. But let's talk about the things that have been announced on the big screen at Hall H. Now, we're gonna get a Blade movie. We're finally gonna get a Doctor Strange horror flick. Now, Marvel has been very, very cautious in the type of movies that they put out. I mean, everything's been loud, action, comedy, fun, excitement, some sad. The greatest villain of all time, Thanos, hands down. You wanna argue, you wanna debate that? Come at me, bro. Anyway, what about all the new things that we're gonna get now? We're finally gonna get a horror movie in the form of Doctor Strange. Now there's been a lot of speculation who's gonna be the villain in that movie. I don't wanna speculate that. I just want it to come. Remember, Baron Mordu is still out there. Still collecting sorcerers, so who knows what we're gonna get, who knows what to expect. Now, we have WandaVision. WandaVision is also gonna be something like a horror flick. And I think it's all gonna be in the mind of Wanda. I mean, it only makes sense to do it that way. Now, Falcon and Winter Soldier. That one right there, I actually want to see that as a movie, not necessarily a show, but you know, it's gonna be all right. Uh, we're gonna get finally that banter that they had back and forth. If you forgot the type of banter that these men have, take a look at this. Can you move your seat up? No. What the hell is that? Everyone's got a gimmick now. Guys, look, I'd love to keep this up, but I've only got one job here today and I gotta impress Mr. Stark, so. I'm really sorry. What? You couldn't have done that earlier. I hate you. See what I mean? Awesome. It's, it's just fun. To see these two guys go back and forth, I, 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 like, I like where they're going with this. I want to see it as a movie, but hey, I'll settle for that. But we might be asking a few questions though. Where's Iron Man? Iron Man's dead. That's it. Iron Man is dead. Tony Stark is dead. This is a universe. This is a this is a, a new series, a new saga where Iron Man is dead. We don't need Tony Stark anymore. Tony Stark has done his job. I mean, have you seen the movie? Have you watched Endgame? Did you see the end when Pepper Potts, that actually did something right for a change, said that you could finally rest now? We're good. We're going to be all right. Did you forget that? Yeah, you did. So, don't worry about Iron Man. Some people are saying, well, what about Captain America? I didn't see another Captain America movie yet. Did you just start watching like this year? Because you just missed like 11 years of content. So how about you go 11 years back, do your, do your research, and then come to us and then ask those you know, valid questions. These are, these are silly questions. Captain America is not coming back because it's, it's very clear why he's not coming back. He's an old man. Now, I'm not saying that we won't see him in action. Even though he's old, he still has his abilities and everything like that. He might, be, he might even feel like a 40, 50 year old man. Who knows? Who knows how that serum works inside of him? But I can tell you this though, we're finally gonna see an old man Captain America at some point, just not right now. And the Hulk, the Hulk, the Hulk, the Hulk. My favorite character. Paramount does not wanna let go of that property, and for good reason. They don't know how to do a Hulk movie, but they're gonna reap the benefits of what Marvel is doing with the Hulk. At some point, we're gonna get a, a Planet Hulk movie, a proper Planet Hulk movie, in the form of World War Hulk. I believe that that's going to be the next big threat that the Avengers are going to face. I don't think they're going to face Galactus just yet. I don't think they're going to face the X-Men just yet. I think they're going to actually face the Hulk. And I, I'm, I'm, wait, this means I'm jinxing it. We're going to get this movie. I don't know when we're going to get it, but I hope we get it soon. I hope we get it somewhere down the line. Fantastic Four, again, let's set up Fantastic Four. Let's start dropping some Easter eggs about Fantastic Four. Or. You know, this uh, this guy that I watch on YouTube, uh, Movie Bob, he, he had this great series about um, how to introduce Fantastic Four into the Marvel Universe, and I think that was brilliant. Um, have them crash land. They went up there in the 50s. They crash land into the in Earth and everything like that, and, and now they're in this new world where they're people with powers, and they have powers, and, and, and all that. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. That's fine with me. Um, you know, at the end of the day, Phase 4 is... is I don't see the story in Phase 4, which is very intriguing. At least with 
Marvel, at first, the first few movies, we didn't really get to connect the dots when it came to what the universe was going to entail until we got to like around, I think it was Thor when we got to see the Tesseract. And then the Tesseract became the center role in Captain America and then of course the Avengers and then we found out that it's an Infinity Stone and then boom, we got the greatest story ever told on cinema, period. You wanna argue that point? You wanna argue with me? Come on, come at me bro. Come at me sis, I'm here. Anyway, listen, at the end of the day, we don't know what's gonna happen in phase four. All we know is that we are living in a universe five years after the snap, and we have to deal with all the issues that the snap actually created in the universe, in the world. And I think that that's exactly what we're going to see in the, the phase that's coming up. Now, we have Black Widow. Black Widow may not even touch on any of this, it just might be her movie and explain her character, which I'm cool with, but I guarantee you that some of the characters that we see in her movie, we're gonna see in the present. That's what Marvel does. You know, they do something in the past so you can see something in the future. That's what Marvel do, that's how they've conditioned us. Um, another movie, Thor. So we're gonna see a female Thor. We're gonna see Jane Foster as the female Thor. I don't know where they're gonna go with this. I mean, at this point, Pepper Potts became Rescue, which is a Iron Man suited person. So sure, why not? Um, at this point, I, I just wanna see another Thor movie with Chris Hemsworth being funny and Taika Waititi is actually doing the movie. So I know it's gonna be hilarious. So I can't wait for that couple years. I'm good with that. Um, People ask her, why we're not getting another Avengers movie? Again, have you not seen Endgame? There is no Avengers movie. <laughs> there is no Avengers. Avengers is no more right now in the universe. So let's just deal with the, the stories of the, the characters. We don't have to connect everything together. That was one of the problems Marvel had in the beginning because they connected everything to where when they had their own movies, it was like, well, why, why isn't this character in the movie if you're here? You know? So now we don't have to ask those questions no more. Now we can just focus on the characters and keep building the new universe that we have now. Again, I I'm excited. I can't wait to see what phase four is going to bring. All I can tell people is just sit back, relax. We have 10 months before the next Marvel movie. Let's just decompress. Let's just enjoy the time off. And then we can get back into the swing of things. Once again, this is your boy Sam's. This is that comic show. Like, share, subscribe, click the notification button so you can know when we drop new stuff. Sam's out.